Okay, Vice President Kamala Harris set to headline a Juneteenth block party during a stop in Atlanta today, her second visit to the city in less than a week. So this has support from Biden among black voters slip in key states as Trump makes gains. The number, uh, the numbers are e even leaving a data gu guru uh, speechless, watch. Holy cow, look at this. Joe Biden was up by 80 points among this group back at this point in 2020. Look at where that margin has careened down towards. It's now just, get this, 37 points. I'm like speechless because you always look at history and you go, okay, this is a historic moment. If this polling is anywhere near correct, we are looking at a historic moment right now where black voters under the age of 50, which have historically been such a big part of the Democratic coalition, are leaving it in droves. Wow, that's on CNN. Let's win for America Action. Co-founder Janelle King joins us now. So, Janelle, put it into perspective. We've talked before. Do you think black voters are leaving the Democratic Party and, and I guess, supporting Donald Trump? <laughs> I think that's the hope for sure. Um, they're absolutely leaving the Democratic Party. I believe that black voters right now, that we're politically homeless to a certain degree because we're looking mm. for who's going to have the plan, who's going to be able to present the policies that's going to actually produce change. I believe that black voters are over the entertainers and the athletes being uh, the representation of the community. And that's no shade. My husband played football, so it's nothing <laughs> wrong with these with the athletes and entertainers. But that being said, I think now it's time to start focusing on other images of the black community. And that's what they're looking for. They're tired of being lumped into this category with this low ball perspective of how you how you go after these voters. Instead, we need to focus in on the policies that's going to change lives. And I think right now is the perfect time for the Republican Party to pick up uh, these voters. Wow. Uh, Donald Trump was in Detroit and the pastor said, uh, you're the only one who's come here. He said, uh, Barack Obama didn't. You know, we see Biden at these big Hollywood parties with all these celebrities and it's just not relatable. Um, uh, Jim Clyburn says he doesn't believe that Trump's going to get 30 percent of the black vote. Uh, he might not get 30 percent, but his numbers are appearing or polling better than they were four years ago with the black vote. Tim Scott said two things driving the black votes back to Trump, jobs and justice. What do you say the reason is? Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I truly believe that as of right now, economics and economic issues is what's driving it. Because what it did was it put uh, the, the gatekeepers in the Democratic Party on display. These are the gatekeepers who told uh, these voters that if you continue to support us, your life will change, your life will get better. Well, we're 50 years later, and it seems like things are getting worse. Um, it's, it's, it's these voters that feel like we're now having to experience uh, the bad policies. In other words, they're experiencing it like we know at the grocery store. They're experiencing it in the cost of housing and child care, um, health care. No one has a plan. So it just seems really, really confusing when you keep saying this. And then you have black conservatives like myself, like Lawrence, that are out here, and we're leaving the breadcrumbs so that whenever they're ready to leave the Democrat Party, there are things out here that they can go and find that will help lead them towards good policy. And that's just what's happening. Yeah. To another topic, uh, it looks like the New York Magazine is going through this article where they say it's essentially a contradiction to be Republican and a woman. It's saying that the value systems of being pro-life, pro-family, uh, where you stand on the economy, you can't be a woman and have those point of views. Do you agree with them? Well, no, not at all. And what I see as a contradiction and quite confusing is that the party who can't define a woman is now Oof. telling the conservative woman that you're mm. not woman enough, which is just really bizarre to mm. me, um, followed by all of this extreme push towards uh, the, the emphasis on physical beauty, where I personally believe that what conservative women have is the confidence to display both sides of who we are. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm a woman who will pull out my gut if I need to, but I'm also someone who's going to be soft and and take care of my husband. I don't yep. see anything wrong with that. Yep. I think that there's a way to do this and do it effectively. Yeah, it was a hard article to read, wasn't it, Janelle? It was page after page of them just bashing every Republican female in Congress and all the negative things that they've said or done and how you can't be pro-God, you can't be pro-life as a woman, you can't and still be a woman. You need to vote Democratic. And it totally puts down every conservative woman in our country. 
I love the knockout Thanks. punch of they can't even define what a woman is. So why, why even write this article? That was great. Janelle King, always powerful words. Thanks God so much for God bless you, Janelle. Up. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.